So, now this capacitor actually initially assume it was charged say some volt uh, say some voltage say V 0 not necessarily that it will be charged all the time V 0 can be 0 also, but we assume that this capacitor initially was charged at V 0 just to get a generalized expression right. So, what you can what you can do this right. So, let us assume an initial voltage V 0 on the capacitor, but this is not necessary for the step response right. Since the voltage of a capacitor cannot charge your change instantaneously that is V 0 minus is equal to V 0. What I want to mean for this circuit for this circuit right for this circuit that when switch was not closed it was open initially suppose capacitor was this capacitor was charged at voltage V 0 right. Suppose this voltage if I write say it is say um, your uh, V uh, 0 just I am making it say V 0 minus. So, as soon as the switch is closed that your what you call the capacitor voltage cannot change instantaneously that means, it will be actually V 0 plus just before switching and just after switching it cannot change instantaneously earlier also we have discussed this. So, V 0 minus will be V 0 plus this way just before switching and just after switching right. So, let me clear this because sorry just hold on. So, now let us come to the circuit. So, it is given V 0 minus is equal to V 0 plus this way I have written is equal to V 0 just your before switching and after switching that uh, cap it voltage uh, capacitor voltage cannot change instantaneously. So, this is equation 44 where V 0 minus voltage across capacitor just before switching and V 0 plus voltage across capacitor just after switching right. Now, applying K V L I told you it is V minus your what you call V S U T upon R plus C D V by D T this already I have told you and for T greater than 0 it this U T is 1. So, it will be basically V minus V S upon R plus C D V by D T R is equal to 0 actually it was it was it was circuit was like this no I am drawing it here. this is your V s uh, your U t right this is V s U t this was your R right and this side it was your capacitor and plus minus this voltage was V right. So, some point some point if current direction was taken like this this I t was taken like this right I t was taken like this and I t is equal to we wrote no I t is equal to that is your I r plus V minus V that is your V s U t minus V divided by R minus this V divided by R this is in this direction clockwise. Now, if you take at any point any point here say this point is A. Now, if I take one current is going like this just you think like this and one current I c is going like this although I c is equal to minus thing. So, this point if you apply your uh, what you call that your um, KCL then this uh, as direction is changed. So, it will be V minus V s u t. So, V minus V s u t by R uh, divided by R plus your C this capacitor C C into d V by d t is equal to 0 right. Now, for when this as soon as the switch is closed for t greater than 0 that u t is equal to 1 that is why this u t you put here it is here it is written, but after that this V s u t is V s u t it is written like this right, but u t is equal to your 1 we will come to that. So, this is actually this one if you simplify it is d V by d t plus V upon R c is equal to V s upon R c u t. Now, for t greater than 0 then we have the type u t is equal to 1 for unit function we have seen for t less than 0 u t is 0 for t greater than 0 u t is equal to 1. So, that is why in the, in the derivation now u t is not there because it is we are trying to obtain the response for t greater than 0 little bit understanding is required for t greater than 0 our objective is to find out the response for t greater than 0. So, this equation 45 becomes so u t is 1. So, it is d v by d t plus v upon r c is equal to v s upon r c or d v by d t is upon simpl simplification v your what you call minus v minus v s upon r c or d v upon v minus v s is equal to minus d t upon r c this is equation 46. Now, you integrate both sides. So, initially capacitor voltage across initial voltage across the capacitor was V 0 and at time t it is V t. So, you are making V 0 to V t 
d v upon v minus v s is equal to minus 1 upon r c that integration 0 to t d t right. So, if you integrate this it will be natural log l n v minus v c limit your integration limit is v 0 to v t is equal to minus t upon r c here also 0 to t. So, this is equal to l n v minus v s upon v 0 minus v s is equal to minus t upon r c that means v 0 minus so it is natural log means log of base e right. So, it is v minus v s upon v 0 minus v s is equal to d to the power minus t upon tau tau is equal to r c the time constant of r c circuit this is r c this is equation 47 right. So, or v t up I mean up upon simplification just cross multiply and simplify you will get v t is equal to actually what we are what I am doing is this the art up to this it is written your what you call all the time not putting your what you call v t v t v t right. But now this v is replaced by v it is understandable to you that is a function of time it is understandable to you. So, that is v t is equal to v s plus v 0 minus v s e to the power minus t up by tau this is for t greater every time you have to write when writing this for t greater than 0 right. Therefore, you can write because v t is equal to v 0 initially capacitor was charged at voltage v 0 that is for t less than 0 that means complete response of voltage you can write v t is equal to v 0 for t less than 0 right and v t is equal to this expression v s plus v 0 minus v s e to the power minus t by tau this is for t greater than 0 this is we call the complete response much more we will see very soon right. So, this is your what you call this way you can write. So, for that this is called a complete uh, response that is in general minus infinity to your what you call that uh, t greater than 0 means plus infinity, but you know that uh, stay for earlier we have seen that up to 5 tau time constant basically that the responses are the I could say that dynamic res uh, the, the circuit responses it reaches to the steady state right for t is equal to say 5 tau because it becomes just uh, stay or what you call it is becoming your what you call less than 1 percent of the peak value right. So, 49 gives the total response of the RC circuit to a sudden application of DC voltage source that is RC circuit we apply assuming the capacitor is initially charged right. Now, if it is assuming that initially uncharged that means V 0 is equal to 0. So, if V 0 is equal to 0 in this expression if V 0 is equal to you put it in that case V t will be is equal to 0 for t less than 0 and here also if you put V s is equal to your uh, your what you call V 0 is equal to 0 it will be V s into 1 minus in bracket 1 minus e to the power minus t by tau. So, here it is it is 0 for t less than 0 and it is V s 1 minus e to the power minus t by tau for t greater than 0 this is equation 50 right. So, that means alternatingly this equation you can write this this equation other way that it is v t is equal to v s 1 minus e to the power minus t minus into u t because u t written for u t you know for t less than 0 u t is equal to 1. So, if when t sorry u t is equal to 0 for t less than 0. So, when t less than 0 u t is equal to 0 then v t will be 0. So, it is 0 and for t greater than 0 u t is 1. So, when u t is equal to 1 it will be v s 1 minus e to the power minus t by tau. So, combining these two we can write v t is equal to v s 1 minus e to the power minus t by tau into u t this is equation 51 hope this is understandable to you right not very simple thing. So, so is figure is uh, this equation 51 is the give the complete response of the RC circuit when the capacitor is initially uncharged right. So, current through the capacitor is obtained from equation 50 that is nothing but i t is equal to c into d v by d t. So, you take the derivative of your what you call uh, der your for t greater than 0 you take the derivative of this equation the d v t by d t for this one for t greater than 0. So, when you do so i t is equal to c d v by d t that is here you have to write t greater than 0 right that is if c by tau then v s e to the power minus t by tau you take the derivative of this equation right. So, it will be your basically and uh, your uh, this is c by tau v s e to the power minus t uh, t by tau and tau is equal to r c right. So, here uh, tau is equal to say c r. So, if you put tau is equal to c r. So, c by tau is equal to t by c r c c cancel it will be 1 upon r that is why v s upon r e to the power minus t by tau right. 
So, and if you and in general if you want then i t is equal to v s upon r e to the power of u t again right here here it is here it is u t same philosophy uh, same philosophy for t less than 0 u t is equal to 0 and for because circuit was open. So, i was 0 and for t greater than 0 u t is equal to 1. So, that is why again it is u t is multiplied right because at that time t less than 0 the switch was open right. So, now equation 48 is rewritten as we have again this equation 40 is this one v t is equal to v s plus v 0 minus v s e to the power minus t y tau that means, v t is equal to can be written as v s s plus v t that is your steady state response plus transient response. So, therefore, complete response the v t is the complete response is equal to steady state response plus transient response v s s plus v t right this is your what you call a v s is the steady state response. Uh, and this is transient response because when t tends to infinity if you look into that when t tends to infinity the circuit reaches to steady state if you come to the circuit from the circuit only because this we have to use again and again for solving your numericals and we have to if you come to this this circuit right. So, our capacitor when the switch is closed for long time for do DC because the switch is closed for long time the capacitor act as your what you call open circuit right. So, this is not required at that time no need to do that because u t at that time u t is equal to 1 for t greater than 0 and if it is and that means, this is only v s this is not required suppose v s and capacitor is open then what is the voltage across this what is the voltage across capacitor is open. So, basically v is equal to your what you call in that steady state voltage in v infinity sometimes we call v s s steady state right is equal to actually v s this uh, source voltage right. So, this is uh, from your intuition you can find out because to DC when switch is closed for long time the capacitor acts as open circuit. So, this is actually just I am making it like this and V will be equal to V s and at the time circuit representation is like this. So, U t is equal to 1 right. So, anyway. So, again we will come back to this. So, this complete response is uh, here also here also if t tends to infinity here also if you make in this expression t tends to infinity the second term will vanish and it will be your I mean I mean I mean if you if you move like move like this uh, just hold on ah. if you if t tends to infinity that means this term will vanish that means at that time v t will be v infinity that is your steady state value that is your v s s will become your V s this value right. So, that is your steady state value that is this is that means, this is your steady state value V s and this part is a transient part and this part is your steady state part let me clear it right. So, that is why V s s is equal to V s and this is transient part this is equation 55 this is equation 56 right. So, transient response is a temporary and it is the portion of the complete response that the, your uh, that the your what you call that decays to 0 as t tends to infinity because when t tends to infinity your I told you when t tends to infinity this part term will vanish right. So, that means, transient will vanish only left out portion will be that is steady state. So, that the uh, therefore, and it is the portion of the complete response that decays to 0 at t tends to infinity the steady state response is the portion of the complete response that remains after the transient response has died out I mean when transient is over right. Thus, the steady state resistor response is the behavior of the circuit a long time after an excitation is applied. That means, you as, uh, that your is, uh, voltage source suppose it is switched on and, and uh, your steady state will achieve after long time right. So, the complete response of equation 48 may be written as uh, this can be written as something like this. If you if you come to this one if you come to this response this this one I mean uh, this one look uh, this one it is this is the thing you are obtaining at infinity and this is your initial value and this is again you are at this V s is act actually your at t tends to infinity at t tends to infinity your V infinity is equal to V s right that is steady state value and initial value V 0 was is equal to 
I can make it V 0 right that means, this equation V t I can write like this, this V s is equal to steady state value that is V infinity plus I can make V 0 minus V infinity right. Uh, then your uh, uh, then your uh, this one e to the power minus t by tau that means, V t will be V infinity plus V 0 minus V infinity e to the power minus t by tau. That means, if you know if you know the initial initial values, if you know the final values the steady state values and if you know the time constant easily you can compute V t right this you have to keep it in your mind for solving numericals and for sol for, for the for the exam also you have to keep it in your mind right. So, that means, this one we can write the V t is equal to V infinity this is the final value V infinity plus initial value that is V 0 minus final value V infinity into d to the power minus T by tau this is equation 57 right. So, V 0 is the initial voltage that says T is equal to 0 plus just after switching right, because uh, capacitor to capacitor the voltage cannot change instantaneously. So, V 0 minus is equal to V 0 plus right and V infinity final or steady state value right. So, this equation V t can be written as V infinity plus V 0 minus V infinity bracket close e to the power minus T by tau right. Therefore, your note that if the init if the switch changes position at t time t is equal to t 0. So, whatever we are considering that is that is at t is equal to 0. Now, suppose if the switch changes position at time t is equal to t 0, t 0 is say not is equal to 0 for example. So, instead of t is equal to 0 there is a time delay in the response of that equation 57 right. So, there will be a time in this case what will happen in this case what will happen before going to this thing in this case this will remain as say V infinity plus now this one this was there when t is equal to 0. Now, switch is on at t is equal to t 0 therefore, initial values will be V it is V t 0 minus V infinity will be there as it is it is there as then e to the power minus then t minus t 0 divided by tau. So, if this was actually at t is equal to 0, switch was just close at t is equal to 0, 0 plus say right. So, but now if we make it t is equal to t 0, then it will be instead of V 0, it will be V t 0 right, but V in steady state will remain same V infinity plus your V t 0 minus V infinity then e to the power minus instead of t, it will be t minus t 0, t 0 divided by tau right. So, let me clear it. So, this is the expression V t is equal to V infinity what I told plus V t 0 minus V infinity then e to the power minus T minus T 0 by tau this is equation 58. Now, where V t 0 is initial voltage at T is equal to T 0 plus if T 0 is equal to 0 then it will be V 0 right here also it will be e to the power minus T by tau if T 0 is equal to 0. So, this is that you are what you call the RC circuit uh, that you are what you call that you are uh, in your initial you have studied the source fee now you are called uh, studying that your circuit is involved with sources right. So, now look the example. So, in uh, in uh, uh, figure this is 41 the switch has been in a position a for long time this that means, if you look into the circuit that this, this was in this position for long time at position a this is a right. Now, at time t is equal to 0 the switch changes its position to b. Now, at t is equal to 0 the switch is uh, you are changing its position from a to b right obtain v t for t greater than 0 and obtain its value at t is equal to 0 0.5 second and t is equal to 3 second. Now, the switch was at its position for long time at a right that means, that means circuit at that time for that case circuit was a steady state because switch was at this position and for long time that means, this capacitor is open circuited and the voltage your uh, this voltage V t actually you have to find out across the, the or this thing this this is the voltage V across the capacitor and capacitor value is 10 to the power minus 3 farad. So, at that time this was open right, but that means you have to find out the initial values of the your, your what you call voltage across the capacitor initial because switch is moved now after that at t is equal to 0 switch will move from A to B. So, in that case what will happen that first as it was as this is open circuited that means, this voltage 
this voltage was V right and say this is V and this is V 0 right. So, in that case it is open. So, first you find out what is the current here. So, current through this is say I and I equal to your 48 right divided by 6000 plus your 10000 uh, 10000 this is this is your writing on it all ampere right and then what is the voltage uh, across the capacitor because capacitor is open circuit this is open circuit. Therefore, your V is equal to you, uh, your this is the current 48 6000 plus 10000 this is 16000 into uh, this is this point you find out the voltage across capacitor into your 10000 this much of volt. So, this is your V right because cap uh, switch was at this position. So, capacitor was open circuited for long time. So, now let me clear it. So, whatever whatever we have made it that I whatever this is this is whatever I told the 10000 by 6000 plus 10000 48 it will be 30 volt right. That means, just before switching V 0 minus the voltage that initial voltage across the capacitor was 30 volt. Now, switch is closed right. Therefore, uh, say uh, your that means uh, your using the fact that the capacitor voltage cannot change instantaneously. So, which switch is closed V 0 is equal to V 0 minus is equal to V 0 plus is equal to 30 volt right. So, now switch has moved from this position to that position right. So, now, uh, now switch has moved there this part is not there switch has moved from this position though this part is not there. So, capacitor is uh, your uh, 10 to the power minus 3 farad and 8000 ohm. So, first you have to find out the time constant of the circuit it will be then 10 to the power minus 3 into your 8000 right. So, it is C r. So, it, it will become your 8 second right this will be tau because switch has moved from this to that. So, just let me clear it. So, in this case tau is equal to I told you 8 second. Now, since the capacitor acts like an open circuit to DC at the steady state V infinity is equal to 60 volt. Now, come to this circuit. Now, when when switch position is uh, your what you call switch position is like this, this side is not there. So, switch is closed at B uh, move from B and for long time that means, uh, a capacitor will act as your what you call an open circuit at that time what is the value that is the V infinity. Right. So, as it is open circuit, so V infinity the final value will be just 60 volt because this 60 volt is applied across this and switch was closed at this position for long time that means, this is open right. So, V infinity will be 60 volt and initial voltage V 0 your your 30 volt we got right and tau we got it is 8 second right. So, we will apply that formula. So, let me clear it. So, here it is from here it is V infinity 60 volt we explained now V t is equal to you know this formula V t is equal to V infinity uh, V t is equal to V infinity plus V 0 minus V infinity to the power minus T by tau. So, V infinity is 60 volt V 0 we calculated 30 volt 60 volt e to the power minus T by 8. So, it is 60 minus 30 e to, e to the power minus T by 8 volt right. Now, at t is equal to 0 0.5 second you put here at t is equal to 0 0.5 second. So, V at t is equal to 0 0.5 is equal to 60 minus 30 into the power minus 0 0.5 by 8. So, it will become 31.817 volt right and another one is that at t is equal to 3 second. So, at t is equal to 3 second you put here t is equal to 3 60 minus 30 into the power minus 3 by 8. So, that is 39 point 38 volt these are the answer right. So, hope you have understood I hope you are understanding this uh, just little bit uh, I, I know you know so many varieties of problems you are solving just open any any good book and just take few problems and just try yourself because whatever uh, variations of problems are there perhaps trying to uh, cover all types of your problems such that whatever uh, whatever book you will open you will find problems are almost similar to that whatever has been done here right. So, next one is that in figure 42 this is figure 42 uh, you have to actually here though understanding is more required 
just uh, just uh, blindly we cannot do this we have to understand the philosophy or physics behind the switching circuit right so in figure 42 switch s1 had been closed for long time this is your switch this switch actually the switch s1 was closed for long time right the, and then your your at t is equal to 0 that the switch s2 is closed the another switch is here s2 that at t is equal to 0 switch s2 is closed you have to find out vc0 plus ic0 plus that your vc0 plus means this one this one volt that is that your voltage across the capacitor vc0 plus so vc0 plus is nothing but the vc0 minus because at the time of switching that voltage cannot change instantaneously instantaneously across the capacitor right and you have to find out vc infinity that means this one what will be the final value of this one and ic infinity what is the this ic infinity what is the steady state value also derive expression for vct that is the voltage across the capacitor all these things we have to do it right and this is 20 ohm and this switch was closed for long time so let me clear it so this this switch s1 was closed for long time now look the switch was closed for long time hence before S2 is closed the capacitor is fully charged that means if capacitor is fully charged uh, and this one is open that, that means just let me uh, make your thing clear that means this is this was open and the switch was closed for long time that means capacitor is acting as a your open circuit that means that means this is your say Vc 0 or what you call that Vc 0 minus right. So, as, as this is open, this is also open. So, no current flowing through this. So, basically your V c 0 minus will be equal to 10 volt because this is the voltage across the capacitor. So, let me clear it. So, this is your V c 0 plus is equal to V c 0 minus is equal to 10 volt. Now, now, now figure this thick figure is that switch S 2 is closed right. Now, switch A as switch S 2 is closed s1 was closed now at t is equal to 0 switch s2 is closed now this switch is also closed so at the time of just uh, your at the time of t0 plus you apply kvl and kcl right so if you at the time of when switch is closed just at the time of uh, your this switch at the time of your what we call just switch is closed right at that time you apply kcl and kvl so here here if you apply your kvl at the, the uh, your in this uh, mesh right so how it will look like it will be 20 i 1 0 plus plus v c your 0 plus minus 10 is equal to 0 just uh, just let me uh, this thing. So, here we are writing 20 i 1 0 plus plus v c 0 plus minus 10 is equal to 0 that means 20 i 1 0 plus plus v c 0 plus is equal to your what you call 10 I mean uh, as soon as the switch is closed little bit understanding is required you you apply here this uh, your what you call that your KVL. So, it will be 20 i 1 0 plus that is just at the time of switching just after switching plus this voltage at that time across the capacitor is V c 0 plus minus 10 equal to 0 right. So, we know V c 0 plus. So, let me clear it. So, in this case V c 0 plus is equal to your, um, to your uh, this thing 10 volt. So, i i i 1 0 plus is equal to 0 ampere right here your V c 0 plus is equal to V c 0 minus is equal to 10 volt because through capacitor at the time of switching again and again I am telling voltage cannot your what you call across the capacitor voltage cannot change instantaneously. So, in that case I 1 0 plus is equal to 0 ampere now come to I 2 0 plus now I 2 0 plus your uh, this is your I 2 0 plus and at that time voltage across the capacitor that is V c 0 plus. So, it is 20 ohm is connected across this so, I 2 0 plus will be V c 0 plus by 20. So, I c 0 plus is equal to your V c 0 plus by 20. So, V c 0 plus is 10 volt. So, 10 by 20 0.5 ampere right. Also, if you apply here at this point, if you apply at this point your at this point your KCL you apply at this node right, then you will get your I 1 0 plus is equal to I c 0 plus plus I 2 0 plus right. So, that means I am writing here I 1 0 plus is equal to your I c 0 plus right plus I 2 0 plus right you apply KCL at this point. So, let me go to this. 
So, here i 1 0 plus is equal to i c 0 plus plus i 2 0 plus. So, your what you call i 1 0 plus was 0. So, i, I c 0 plus plus i 2 0 plus is 0 0.5 is equal to 0. So, i c 0 plus is minus 0.5 ampere and tau is equal to c into r thibnin. So, it is 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 c value is given and r thibnin means this one right across the I mean you have to find out r thibnin. So, this is the this is the terminal this is the terminal for the capacitor right when you find the r thibnin this voltage source is sorted we have seen this right and this 20 ohm and this 20 ohm both are in parallel right. So, it will be 20 because at this point say this is point A this is point B we are trying to find out r thibnin. So, it will be 20 into 20 by 20 plus 20 this is your r thibnin you have to find out therefore, r thibnin is equal to 10 ohm right. So, because uh, this we have seen before that by your what you call how to find out your what you call r thibnin or right. So, this uh, so we got this one your uh, what you call this r thibnin your r thibnin is equal to directly we are writing 20 into 20 upon 20 plus 20. So, which is basically it is your what you call that is 10, 10 ohm. So, multiplied by 5 into 10 to the minus 6. So, it will be 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 second right and at t is at t tends to infinity capacitor acts as an open circuit. So, for this uh, for this thing switch is closed and for then it was it remain closed for long time. So, capacitor will act as open circuit. So, I c infinity is, e is equal to 0 because capacitor will remain open circuit when switch is closed for long time. Therefore, therefore, right I c infinity 0 and V c infinity will be 10 into 20 by 40 is equal to 5 volt. So, if you come here what will be your V c infinity right. So, uh, if you if you look if you look into that the capacitor acts as open circuit acts as open circuit right. So, question is that this this is open uh, this is your this is open right. So, this is open open circuit. So, find out what is the current flowing through this what is the current flowing through this. So, this is this is open circuit. So, what is the current flowing through this the I it is 10 by 20 ohm plus 20 ohm. So, 20 plus 20 so 40 that is 1 by 4 ampere this is your what you call the current flowing and this voltage your and uh, this 1 by 4 ampere. So, at that time nothing is there it is a steady state it is a steady state that is at infinity that means and then then open circuit voltage I mean at, at voltage across the capacitor that V c infinity right that is V c infinity this is the this is your voltage V c infinity this is the voltage right is equal to your this 20 into this 1 by 4 ampere that is is equal to 5 volt right because capacitor is open circuit at the time. So, current you have to fl you have flowing like this and this capacitor is connected this 20 ohm resistance is connected uh, across the capacitor right. So, you can find out easily V c infinity 20 into 1 by 4. So, 5 volt right. So, let me clear it. So, that means V c 0 V c infinity all are known to us right. So, that is your 5 volt this is V c infinity directly I have written here I hope you have understood this right. Therefore, V c t is equal to V c infinity the same formula that V c infinity plus V c 0 minus V c infinity is equal minus T by tau generalized formula. You substitute V c infinity 5 volt V c 0 10 V c infinity 5 and e to the power minus T then by 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 that is tau time constant for T greater than 0. So, that means V c T is equal to 5 plus 5 e to the power minus 2 into 10 to the power 40 uh, your that is volt uh, that is for T greater than 0. Hope you have understood this little bit understanding is required. Thank you very much we will be back again.